All right, what's up guys? This is RW146 here, back again with another update on my Subaru. So we're at PMP Performance right now, which has a bunch of cool stuff for Subarus and always does. And I got the scoop on this car that they were getting in here right off the bat before anyone else really got to it to touch it. So this is a 2008 WRX hatch. And as I said in the previous videos, I was hoping that there was some cool aftermarket stuff on this car that we might be able to take, but I didn't really expect to see what we did find, which looks like basically an entire Process West conversion kit to convert the WRX to an STI turbo setup. And I'm not sure if you can see down there, but it's got a really nice um, you know, aftermarket downpipe with a screamer tube. We got the full top mount set up, all the piping that you would need to basically convert from the WRX style turbo to the STI turbo. And this all looks fresh, complete, and more or less ready to go. So I'm gonna see if- we got a little gem here too. Oh yeah. Not sure what we got underneath the hood really. <laughs> but we're gonna see what we might be able to get off this car. I'm also gonna take the headlights, which I was telling you guys about before, as well as the radiator out of this car, hopefully. Um, so this might end up being a much nicer haul than I was anticipating, but I'll keep you guys posted with another video once we get everything apart and figure out how much they want for it. All right, what's up guys? This is RW146 back for today's final update on this Subaru parts car that we got here. Um, so I ended up getting the hood off of this car as far as the body stuff that I needed. That was the main thing. Apart from that, I really did want the headlights, but apparently those had already been sold. Um, what I did get instead of that was the entire STI turbo setup off of this car. So it is a Process West full vertical setup, uh, Grim Speed up pipe, brand new pair and exhaust manifold, this crazy catch can setup, uh, the external wastegate setup off of it. Basically everything I would need besides tuning to bolt this car, uh, bolt this engine setup onto my car and basically have an STI turbo set up with all the stock WRX components. So that was really sick, um, but I did spend a little bit more than I was anticipating here. But at the end of the day, the car should be pretty baller. Um, let me see what I got going on here. Um, yeah, so not the couple hundred dollars I was hoping I would spend today. But what we're coming away with, we got a killer deal on for everything considering it's all brand name, it's all brand new. Um, big ups to my buddy Trav for the ride up here and for knowing the dude that runs this place and letting me know that this is the place to go. Um, obviously that was the case and I'll worry about getting a headlight and you know whatever I'm gonna do with my front bumper later. Um, so that should be it for today, guys. This is RW146, I'm about to sign off. Again, if you want updates on my WRX that I'm fixing, as well as my other cars, which include the 240SX that I have, the Fox Body Mustang Drift Project, and also the Mark 216 valve GTI with the fully built engine on Megasquirt. Um, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and there will be more updates to come. All right, later. What's up, guys? Actually, one final update here, because we brought the parts that I got today back to the shop, um, so they're gonna be ready for the WRX. But also, there's a little bit more progress on that car than I had anticipated there being since yesterday when I posted the last update video, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, so what we got going on here is the car is fully blown apart at this point. Everything's out of the way, and the new rad support is underway and the guy that's doing it for me i'm not doing this part because it's just not my area of expertise i'm having somebody else do it so i know it's done right um but it looks like they already have the new rad support mocked up and what they did was take the best parts of each of them because the one that i got did have some surface rust on it so it looks like he's basically piecing together everything and he's doing it properly by drilling it out at the pinch welds and cutting it there instead of you know cutting any other metal so this should be done a lot quicker than I anticipated. And again, I should be more than on track to hit the deadline I set for myself having this car back together, which was by next weekend. So once again, stay tuned for updates on this. Just wanted to shed some light on this so you can guys see exactly how quickly this is coming along here. I'm very excited about this. All right, once again, RW146, like and subscribe and share, and I'll catch you guys in the next update video.